For a decade, Lori Moffat reigned as the top bank stock analyst on Wall Street while at Goldman Sachs. Her transition from this prestigious role to community organizer, spearheading the successful Ponte Vedra Beach Restoration Project, is a testament to her resilience and adaptability. Meeting Lori, you quickly realize that her financial acumen is matched only by her unwavering determination and hard work. Lori grew up in suburban Cleveland, Ohio, and was one of four kids. She credits her parents, particularly her father, for her determination and her mother for her tireless work ethic. After her marriage to David Moffat and several moves, the couple, now with son Will, moved to Ponte Vedra Beach. Hurricane Matthew in 2016 and Irma in 2017 illuminated the severe erosion problem at their back door, which only became worse when Hurricanes Dorian hit in 2019 and both Ian and Nicole in 2022. Hurricanes Matthew and Irma eroded nearly 30 feet of beach and more than 100 feet of coastline has been lost since the 1980s. While others complained, Lori acted. Going door to door, she organized her neighbors and they raised $200,000. With that money, they hired coastal engineers to survey the damage and prepare a restoration plan. The engineer's report was bleak. Ponte Vedra Beach was losing two to three feet of beachfront every year. Without remedial action, the beach would be lost and billions of dollars in property value were at risk. Lori and her team organized a meeting for residents in Ponte Vedra, and the engineers shared the bad news. They learned that Ponte Vedra Beach was one of the only beach communities in the state without an ongoing renourishment program, and St. Johns County had little interest in restoring the coastline. Everyone agreed to help, and Lori and her team kept the pressure on the St. Johns County Commission, which pushed back claiming they had no money for the project. The state of Florida, however, was generous and anxious for a solution from the start. Adding more firepower to the team, Lori hired an attorney to help lobby the commissioners. After a presentation by the Olson Associates coastal engineering firm and the lobbyist, the county commissioners realized Lori and her team were serious. They had resources and the need was real. Lori, Beth Angelo, and Elaine Ashurian then co-founded the political committee Friends of Ponte Vedra Beach to raise more money and to get involved politically. Working side by side with Beth and Elaine, Lori made calls, sent emails, and continued speaking before area organizations and the county commission. There were countless meetings with county, federal, and state officials, engineers, attorneys, and members of the public. Lori tells us, There were many, many setbacks along the way. We got the process started, but we needed $40 million and we had to find it somewhere. We also needed cooperation from St. John's County, which was no small undertaking, to secure the required permits. And we also needed to hire Olson Associates, the coastal engineer in the project, and lobbyists to help us get the funding. The group targeted the county bed tax as a potential source of income but it was a grueling uphill battle before the commissioners agreed to add an additional penny to the bed tax. To get this passed required a change in county commissioners. Not an easy task, but the group prevailed. The project began building more momentum when FEMA approved a berm project in Ponte Vedra and in other parts of the St. John's County coastline in 2020, completely rebuilding the dune system. The support of State Representative Cindy Stevenson, State Senator Travis Hudson, and House Speaker Paul Renner proved invaluable. And last year, the state granted them $25 million, getting the project over the finish line to $38.6 million. This money, along with county dollars, put Olson Associates' plan into action. Over 2 million cubic yards of sand were dredged from the ocean, covering nine miles of coastline from the Duval County line to the Guana Preserve. When asked what she learned from the project, 
Lori said, I learned a lot about how governments work. We learned how to organize a community, how to get a multi-million dollar project financed, and I also learned once again that perseverance and hard work always pays off. Her hard work did pay off with an enduring restoration project that not only saved the beach and protected residents' homes, but also enhanced the environmental habitat for turtles and other wildlife and ensured FEMA's ongoing assistance. Now that we've restored our beach, FEMA will continue our efforts and renourish our beach for generations to come. Lori is years and miles away from Wall Street, but here, she's earned another title, that of Beach Legend.